punch that in your calculator? It's like you're wearing butt cheese mittens or something. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. You're right, sir. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. All right, this is how easy this shit is. Ladies and gentlemen, I am swinging for the fences today. After being in a funk, it appears I'm on video number three. And appropriately, I'm talking about the sun on Sunday. And it looks like she just exploded. No, I don't mean supernova. I just mean like an exaggerated coronal mass ejection. She's something fierce. She's something round. And she looks a bit like a bow. Now we're just going to start this in the 10th. We're just going to start off in the 10th. As you can see, the sun fires off a giant Jimi Hendrix Phoenix to the north. Wields a lightsaber in its right hand. And it shoots out a shank in its left. I don't know how you pronounce that word, dude. Go ahead and pronounce it however you want to. We don't have to get a fight over, okay? Let me introduce you to all of our players because we have quite a few. Center stage, the white circle, is the sun, the center of our solar system. The black disc covering the sun has been named the occulting disc for dubious reasons. This strange neutron star looking thing, which is not a neutron star, so don't panic. Asterisk, I don't know if it's a neutron star. We've been told it's cat hair on the lens. Though if that's true, it's magic. And it defies all the laws of physics and cat hairs, man. Uh, over here we have occulting disc number two. It appears like a giant dark matter spot has just grown over part of the sun and it never receives any light for some reason, which is extremely bizarre. But that is the way of these days. Everything is strange. It's like all bass acrids snafu bar. And we ain't done yet. But hold your britches. Over here we have the sun, baby. Which I think the sun is giving birth to another planet. Gas giant. Whatever you want to call it. Well, in theory, I can look crazy if I want to. You can't see it really in this frame, but you will see in other frames we have something right here is like the boob hills, I've called them. Because that's what they look like, man. It's science. Right about there, right? So that's what we're looking at. Now that you know everything, I mean, I've labeled it. We're good to go. We're good to go. Okay, let's go. Boom. Now remember, science communicators get paid to tell us what they're told to tell us. And so for months and months and months, scientists and science communicators who know jack shit about solar physics have been saying solar activity is low. Now, their oversimplified solar maximum and minimum litmus test is just CMEs and coronal mass ejections. And if you spend a lot of time watching the sun, you'll know, you know, that doesn't account for the maximum amount of activity. It's like if you only counted jogging and Stairmaster as activity in your day. Like no matter what else you did, you went and bailed hay or you know, ran a four minute mile. Play a game of football wouldn't count. Why not? Because it's not jogging. They're Stairmaster. Same way with the sun, man. Whoa, look at that thing. That thing is giant. And, oh wow, that's the tent. So, that's probably Prince of Spirit taking off to the Pleiades sisters. Shucks. He will get to them before I will. Don't worry, Sage ain't gonna get mad. She is all seven. Pleiades sisters. I just hope I make it out alive. <laughs> oh, man. See us on May 15th. We've had a giant coronal mass ejection. But remember, it's almost a fact now. And the sun freaks out. Earth weather freaks out. And people themselves freak out. So just be prepared to be extra cool and extra strong. Also, four planets are in retrograde, and you may not buy that astrology bullshit, but I do think there's something to it. Uh, I think, yes, yeah, so the other planets in our solar system affect our planet, especially Jupiter. All right, let's go look at some cameras other than this one, shall we? Sweet. Wait, no, I'm going to slow this one down. Would you like it slow, baby? Now, here comes Mercury. Let's try not to make fun of these cameras. Look at that. That is, cra that is, that is wild. That is wild. And why is science always so confident the sun has 5 billion years of fuel left? Have you really looked in its gas tank? Ladies and gentlemen, maybe your solar science sucks, buddy. You ever thought that? You ever punched that in your calculator? It's like you're wearing butt cheese mittens or something. Yeah, it's crazy. Looks like it'll be too high to hit us. That's what she said. Alright, so, my, it definitely looks like a phoenix right here. See the phoenix head? Wings in the little tail? Yep, sun is a phoenix egg. Total proof. Proved. Right here. That's what you come for. In my humble opinion, that's an incredibly impressive coronal mass ejection. You can see down here how it's like tick tock, flip flop, boom, and then it comes. Because that's the areas we're watching. We're watching that thing. It's like a machine gun going cry cry. Boom. Look at that thing. Just going. Oh, look at both. Oh, crap. Wow. That is some impressive. Yeah, that's solar activity, man. I'll say it again a million times. That is synchronized solar swimming with about eight X's. And then. When you're watching those two, this one's like, I want some attention too. I better do something impressive. Boom. That's impressive. If you're new to coronal mass ejection, solar flares, that's impressive. Yeah, you got activity everywhere, bro. You got nothing but activity. It's like science has lost its mind. It's like science has lost its mind or something. This is just, it's wild. It's really, really wild. Oh, look how straight those are. Wow. I better get my supernova preparedness kit ready. Because I don't know what's going on over here. It looks pretty weird. The entire face of the sun's freaking out. That's totally weird. Whoa. That's incredible. Oh, look at that giant tornado up there. There's activity everywhere. Look at it. I mean, it begun to talk about this hat. Look at that. Those coronal loops are, those are weeds in a garden. The garden would be overrun. Wow. All right. And then look at this giant crack down the side. Okay, great. I see a face. I see a face. You can't stop me from drawing the face. All right. Are you ready to drop face? Or maybe the face sucked. I can't bat 100 all the time. Don't get boring. Okay, so that's crazy. You agree? Sweet. That's kind of crazy. 
Nah, it's wild. It's magnetic goo. That's what plasma is. It's nothing but magnetic goo. Mm. Wow. It's just... It's like the sun just tore itself a new asshole. Lack of a better scientific term. If you want the candy-ass science. Wow. I love the pink one. And check out these coronal holes. It almost looks like it's where the sun is missing its fuel. Sometimes it looks like the sun is empty inside. Just a little diamondy neutron star in there. We can dream, can't we? Wow, the sun looks different. Look at the texture, man. That's pretty weird in the giant circle, which keeps growing. Okay, this camera has always been bad, but now it's gotten much, much worse. I'm afraid we might have to take it out back and shoot it. It's gotten buzzier, dustier, and what the hell's going on here, here? And see if you can figure it out, bro, bro. This one's Jupiter, right here. That is our buddy Jupiter. And it seems like this camera got a whole lot of frames on the, on the blue, which is good. And I take back making fun of it. Remind me to stop the frame at 380. And at about 480. Well, there's a big one. What was that? Snake? Space snake. I saw him. I just didn't. Whoa. There's a lot of crap flying through there. Wow. Those are incredible explosions. Major anomalies. And then the camera barrel rolls. Looking good, Jupiter. Keep it up, buddy. Well, see this. That shit makes you moving in, man. Looks like that stuff's getting closer. We can science if we want to. We can leave your corporate crap behind. And if you don't ask, and then you don't we ask, and then you know, friend of mine. Ma. Whoa, I don't know what's going on. It's kind of freaky. You might get Tourette's. Wow. All right, so we're left speechless. Remember, you might get some weird impulses. Don't act on them. All right, so score. Chuck up another one for Thor News, because sun looks pretty active to me. Doesn't look anything like a solar minimum. Maybe your solar science sucks, buddy. You ever thought that? You ever punched that in your calculator? It's like you're wearing butt cheese mittens or something. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. You're right, sir. Hit the button, baby. Party game time. All right, this is how easy this shit is. Ladies and gentlemen, I am swinging for the fences today. After being in a funk, it appears I'm on video number three. And appropriately, I'm talking about the sun on Sunday. And it looks like she just exploded. No, I don't mean supernova. I just mean like an exaggerated coronal mass ejection. She's something fierce. She's something round. And she looks a bit like a bow. Now, we're just going to start this on the 10th. We're just going to start off on the 10th. As you can see, the sun fires off a giant Jimi Hendrix Phoenix to the north. Wields a lightsaber in its right hand. And it shoots out a shite in its left. I don't know how you pronounce that word, dude. Go ahead and pronounce it however you want to. We don't have to get a fight over it, okay? Let me introduce you to all of our players because we have quite a few. Center stage, the white circle, is the sun, the center of our solar system. The black disc covering the sun has been named the occulting disc for 